good right now. We've got a little problem in our temperature. The boiler re tenant requested that we blow some soot on the walls, and that drove our main steam temperature down and, down and also and our reheat. So now we're going to have to add some uh, gas reserve to get these temperatures back up. Uh, that should take care of it. Now, when uh, the, in this load, the IR blow makes a major change. Just a few IRs. So, so the walls are a little dirty now. We're a little too clean, huh? Yes, now we're too clean. Okay. So by, you're going to increase the gas research flow, drive the temperature up into the into the superheat, resuperheat, and raise our temperatures, huh? That should do it. Should do it that way. Okay. We'll give it a try and we'll see what happens later on. Okay. We'll make the adjustments now. discrepancy on our temperatures. Our main uh, correction, reheat temperature is showing about a 975. Our temperature over here on our strip chart is showing about 990. And there's quite a discrepancy there. And our computer has another number. Which one is correct? Okay, one thing you have to remember is on your supervisor here, you're measuring metal temperature very slow to respond, so you're not going to get a very accurate temperature at the moment. And on your uh, recorder, chart recorder, all you're going to get is a trend, basically. And due to hysteresis losses in your recorder, it's not going to be a, an accurate temperature. So your most accurate temperature would be on your performance computer. Okay. Now we need these temperatures. Uh, Kurt wants them for our efficiency of the unit and I gotta find out which one is the most accurate about on that that particular temperature. Okay as far as an accurate temperature then I'd say use a performance computer point. Okay, thank you Mark. 